What's up everybody? Welcome back to another movie review. Today we are talking about 2014's Godzilla. I actually remember, what was this, nine years ago? I would have been 15. I, w I went to Methuen Movie Theater, Lowe's Cinema, with my mother. And we sat and watched this Godzilla movie with Brian Cranston, Aaron Taylor Johnson, Elizabeth Olsen. And director Gareth Edwards really does his thing. But what I really like about this movie, I think out of all the Godzilla movies, at least the most recent ones, because there's one from 1998 with Matthew Broderick that I almost want to rewatch too, because that's the one I grew up on, and I loved that Godzilla a lot, actually. But once, you know, what, 98 to 14, 16 years later, they made this one, so it took them quite a while, but then they also had 2005's King Kong with Jack Black and they they didn't make another King Kong movie until 2017 so it, it, they spaced these bad boys out they probably thought people didn't want it in the early 2000s but they also were like hey the technology kind of needs to get better by 2014 the technology looked pretty damn good you know but it wasn't quite to the point where you could have Godzilla be the main character for all three acts and you just follow him so they kind of did it where you're seeing the monsters from the person's perspectives and I absolutely loved it right like they're shot from the bridge where from the people's perspective on the bridge of Godzilla walking through the bridge of the uh, San Francisco bridge when he first shows up you know he gets that big it like changes like it's a crazy roar but I, I wonder how they actually made that noise because it's it fits you know you hear him roar and you're like yeah that's about how I think Godzilla would would sound but you know it's pretty much this movie's Godzilla versus the two M Mutos one's a male one's a female these Mutos are trying to have some babies and uh, they, they, they need nuclear stuff radiation to feed on so they keep feeding on bombs and stuff Aaron Taylor Johnson's character is a bomb diffuser uh, but he also was exposed to these monsters as a child with Brian Can Cranston. His father was over in Japan and working in a nuclear reactor, and he lost his wife to an explosion in a, the big event that happened over there. And they thought it was radiation, but it wasn't. But uh, honestly, anything that Brian Cranston in, is in, he's always amazing. And unfortunately, he passes quickly in this movie. And then you have... Aaron Taylor Johnson's your main character and you're following him through the rest of it but I kind of really like just the way the story unfolds um it's kind of weird seeing Aaron Taylor Johnson and Elizabeth Olsen be husband and wife in this when they were brother and sister in the MCU just probably what two years before this or maybe the same year as this um but it's funny like that you know they're all together and shit but then, you know, he saves his son, he gets back to his son, and his mom still lives, you know, so it's a ha like a happy ending, I, I like the ending, it's a good solid story, but the visuals, right, Gareth Edwards and his visuals in this are why I love the movie so much, at one point they're skydiving into San Francisco to see, God, like, or to stop Godzilla and the other Muto that it's fighting, and you just see this wide shot of them falling through the dark clouds, and they got like the red smoke flares popped so that they're falling down with it and then they enter enter the clouds and it gets like dark and you see like thunder and lightning and then they get below the clouds you know you see them passing through the clouds you follow Aaron Taylor Johnson the whole time and then you see them pass through the clouds and then you see giant ass Godzilla right so every shot of Godzilla in this it's not just like ooh a big camera of another go another uh, monster from far away no it's always like shot from the ground up at Godzilla or as he's falling from the sky down at Godzilla right so like they made an effort to be like okay this is a movie set in the real world where would the camera be would it what is it in a helicopter is it a phone camera is it someone running away is it someone in a building is it a security camera like things like that like they they get away from in the later movies like Godzilla versus Kong in, in Godzilla King of the Monsters I kind of feel like they lost that entirely and they stopped making like oh where would this be shot from in real life where in those later movies it's kind of just like okay let's show the spectacle the best we can it's like alright but where is the this getting shot from like you kind of lose that aspect of like oh this is really happening to these characters when it's really not. <laughs> 
But, you know, Aaron Taylor Johnson, this whole movie, right, the skydiving in, they see the the two monsters fighting, like, it, that the whole scene's epic, the shot of them at the airport, all of a sudden there's an explosion off to the left, all these people are behind the glass in the airport, the explosion draws your attention to the left of the screen, and then there's a big giant leg that takes a fucking poof, and this is like the first time we actually see Godzilla, not just in the water, not just like spikes, you know, we actually see him, see him, and he's, poof, poof, you know, his big roar, whatever, <laughs> but I absolutely love this movie, you know, I think it's fun, um, and I, it was one of the first Godzilla movies that I seen that I was like, holy shit, that giant lizard is terrifying, where in the 98 one with Matthew Broderick, I was kind of like, hey, leave that Godzilla alone, it's just a mama, it's just a mama trying to make some babies and take over New York with other Godzillas, you know, but Matthew Broderick was my favorite character in that one, where in this one, kind of Godzilla's my favorite character, you know what I mean? Uh, it, I don't know. I still love Brian Cranston in this, but overall, I give this movie 4 out of 5 stars, 8 out of 10. Comment below, what is your score that you gave this movie? And Gareth Edwards' most recent movie, The Creator, I just watched recently, so go check out that movie review already up on the channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate that, and stay tuned for the next one. We'll be talking about Kong Skull Island, and then we'll be talking about Godzilla King of the Monsters, and then Godzilla vs. Kong. I did, like, a whole Godzilla rewatch recently, because I'm also watching Godzilla Legacy or Legacy of the Monarch, the Apple TV Plus show with Wyatt Russell and Kurt Russell. So check out that if you're a Godzilla fan, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.